Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I want to do a quick video really where I address what's going on in the community right now uh, around this progressive summoning event around the two times ancients and the way I guess players are handling their issues, which um, I've got to say, there's a whole bunch of the community which are full mad right now. And it doesn't take much. I've got to say, like the community go from middling to mad much quicker than they used to maybe a couple of years ago so um i don't know if that's just the evolution of the game and and the the kind of the way the community have gone over the years but there's definitely a lot more mad that i see in chats nowadays than, than i used to maybe a couple of years ago but let's just talk about this so we've had this progressive chance event running and it was meant to start at the start of friday so as the ter uh, as the portal turned blue the progressive chance event was meant to go on. Now, I actually made a video as soon as I knew about the fact that it wasn't working right to try and stop people pulling their shards, okay? And um, I was basically like, look, it's not working correctly. And then as I was making that video, it dawned on me that that's going to massively hurt a lot of people's chances to complete the champion chase. It's, there's, there's different elements to this. But firstly, if you're in for this fusion, which, uh, as I've said already, I am, this champion chase is a ton easier to get the points or you're more likely to get the points if the progressive chance is running alongside a two times. Because you just get more epics, uh, you've got a better chance of getting a legendary and all of that stuff. So, or have you got a better chance of getting a legendary? Maybe not actually, but you'll get more epics along the way anyway, I think. Or do you? Hold on. Do you? Maybe you don't. Maybe that's a lie actually. It's still two times chance to get, now maybe I'm completely wrong on that. It's still a two times chance to get the epic or the legendary. It's just a better chance of getting the one you want. Okay, so it actually wouldn't make a, it wouldn't have made a difference to champion chase points. I'm, I'm actually wrong there. All it would have done is given you the better chance of actually finding the ones that you want. Okay, so, so champion chase, actually no, that's a lie. But in terms of potentially picking up a nuke, for example, which is what a lot of people are after in this particular event, um, and the pool is very good anyway. Like, um, you know, Sakia's in there as well. Yeah, Cantra. Like, there's good champions in there. But um, a lot of people were going after Newt with their Ancients. And what happened was there was some sort of fault when they first turned on the Progressive Chance event. People just went in there and blew their shards. And then they realized it wasn't on properly and uh, obviously got mad. So all of that is fair. Like, you know... What, of course, you're going to get upset if you think something's happening, but it's not. So let's go into then what Raid said. So Raid put out on the 5th as part of their Raid Digest. Right at the top here, actually, um, this April marked the end of the 5th anniversary celebrations, um, but heralded another grand event we're doing, blah, blah, blah. Um, stay tuned for this later on. Before we move any further, we apologize for the technical issues that caused us to shut down the Progressive Chance event and then relaunch it later. We're already searching for all the affected users and figuring out the appropriate compensation for them. We'll provide more info about compensation later. As of now, Progressive Chance event has been restarted. It's working properly, and we don't think there's any technical issues. Um, they also, if you haven't seen this, by the way, talked about these Prism Jewels, which I mentioned in a video the other day. Some readers may have noticed in the Altar of Souls, there is Prism Jewels. It's basically going to be like prism shards, like exactly what I thought it was going to be, actually. Like prism crystals for shard pulling. So at some point in the near future, there will be soul events where there's groups of champions that have got a heightened chance to be pulled. And especially with the souls, man, that feels like it's so needed because it's, it's literally so pot luck to get any sort of souls that you want. So this may improve it we'll see um anyway let's get back onto the point so we then go on as a, an update so it says here update regarding compensation due to the nature of the event and the amount of resources spent we decided to separate the compensation into multiple parts the first one is general compensation for technical difficulties this will be awarded to anyone who opens shards during the event or during the issues with the event the second one will depend on the number of shards used and the modifiers that should have been provided. However, it will exclude players who were not affected by the bug and pulled the chosen champion. So I guess if you just got lucky and pulled Newt, but the 
progressive stuff wasn't on, then you won't be in the compensation mix. And of course, there are special situations which will resolve case by case. So this is the most important part for me. Compensation is planned by 6th of April. And we're working on trying to trying to deal with the fine details. Now, I guess the challenge here is it's going to be a shit ton of people. <laughs> it's loads. The amount of people on my warning video that were like, too late, I've already done it. Why didn't you tell me earlier? It's like, I couldn't have. I didn't know the future. But, but yeah, it's a lot of people. So how they do this second part, I do not know. Like, how, how they get to the point where they're just going to almost like automatically find these people, I don't know, which means that they're probably having to deal with a support ticket for everyone who is upset. And actually, that doesn't even probably cover half the people that should be getting compensation because most people are probably just waiting for it rather than getting the support ticket in. So if you are one of the upset people, I'd say get your support ticket in because I think that's going to be the only way they absolutely know that you're looking for compensation. Okay, so that's one. The second thing is, this date was yesterday. Compensation was planned for the 6th. And I'm seeing a lot of people upset, but they haven't had it yet. So then I go a bit further down and, uh, well, we can just see here. Uh, do we see anything about this actually? Or is it just people being upset generally? Yeah, so this is a good example. Jesse Oliver, Olivier, sorry. Um, Raid, how will we know? Spent quite a few to get new. And yes, like, where's the information? And I just wanted to check, actually, is there anything in-game about this? Because really, and I know they don't want to draw attention to it, but really, there should have been, as soon as they knew there was an issue, there should have been a message in-game to just say, it's not working right, don't pull your shards right now, or just be aware Progressive is not on. Just putting it on your socials is kind of good, but that's a very niche, small group of players. And really, like all the mobile users, all these people that just are not in the mix of it would not know that that's going on. So that's actually probably not really good enough, honestly. David Cook, haven't seen any compensation today. Uh, Bjorn here, not sure the correct amount of shards are open, but guess you figured it out for everyone that's involved. Hoping, yeah. Um, again, like Bjorn, I would say if you if you watch this video, if you, if you watch my videos, I would put a ticket in personally. How will I know if I will be compensated? Will I receive a message? Like no replies. Uh, okay. Anyway, we get on to raids. Kind of like next message update regarding the compensation technical issues. Regrettably, due to technical difficulties, we won't be able to send compensation until Monday. Now, this is where it becomes a real problem. Okay, because this event is running until Monday. If we check the news of it, uh, Dublin, you blah, 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 blah. We're running until Monday, 8 a.m. UTC. So the double ancients alongside progressive chance on Newt, which I have to say is insanely good to go for because Newt is up there top two, top three champion for PvE content. Okay, like it's absolutely insane to get. Right, insane to get. So absolutely anyone who who's got ancient shards should have been pulling for new if they don't have him already. Or even if they got one copy, getting two copies, as you're gonna see on my account over the next couple of days, is bonkers. Okay, so just giving me back my shards after the event is over is not good enough for anyone who actually cares about playing this game. Like it's really not. That's gonna well, it's already pissing a load of people off. And good point here from Chris Irons. Well then, are you extend are you extending the, the event? Because I do want to pull for Newt, Chris is saying. I do want to pull for Newt. Chris, unfortunately, there's no plans to extend the event. Am I getting some shards back I bought? Or do I need to do um or do I need to get more for fusion? Tell us what's going on. Unfortunately, I I can't tell you what the compensation will be. We're still working on it. So it's gone from what felt like a really good response early on look we know there's a problem there's three things we're doing these are the things we're going to do it's happening by the sixth so you can still do the event it's gone from that to i can't really tell you what you're going to get and, and maybe that's just a person who's running their socials in fairness but i can't tell you what you're going to get and if you get something it's going to happen after the event which oh it's a nightmare it's a nightmare and this one i totally get if people are mad on this one I get it. This one, like, you know, I said at the start, people are very quick to be mad nowadays, and I think that's right. 
But on this one, Christ, if I'd pulled thinking I was getting more more towards Newt and I didn't get it, I would be pretty pissed, actually. Mark here, what about our pulls for Newt? Lots of people got him and we miss out because you can't run your game properly. I have to say, that one for me is a like. Like, I think he's right. Uh, you, you either need to extend this, this whole event for another day or, and you probably then need to extend Champion Chase for another day. And I'm not sure how easy that is to do with their systems, honestly. But it's, it's a joke, honestly. Um, and then obviously now you start to get then people coming out with the... I don't like the word scammers because that's, they, they're not trying to scam you, Jim. They're just fucked up something and they're struggling to resolve it. It's not a scam. But anyway, it, it's, it's not good. It's not good. Um, this is unacceptable. I agree, David Cook. Very disappointed with the whole mess. Yes. And then I've seen on, on comments on my videos... Oh, I'm leaving over this, you know, all, all the normal sort of stuff that people are upset about. Same type of thing if you're over on X. Uh, by the way, feel free to come and follow Hell Hades on X or on Facebook. We're always up doing updates and, and sharing information as soon as we get it on there for community stuff. Same sort of thing anyway. There's a whole bunch of comments where people are annoyed, rightly so. So I guess I just wanted to kind of like throw light on it, but Raid, it's actually not good enough, this one. This one's not good enough. You need to find a way to extend both the two times on Ancients and the Progressive Chance and the Champion Chase another day if you can't fix your compensation in time. And anyone who feels like they pull shards when they thought the Progressive Chance was going on and didn't get any sort of Progressive Chance stuff happening, I suggest you put in the support tickets. I don't know how else they're going to definitely find you. And that, for me, is a concern. So... There you go, guys. Uh, just a bit of an update from me. But damn, feels like a, quite a mess. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. I've been Hell Hades. Have a good day.